Like, why does everything have to be like mousetrap? Because that's how death works. No. <laughs> it's not like mousetrap. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time to continue our franchise. Oh, no. See if we finally get to a destination in Final Destination 2. Great. More jump scares. Yeah. What's going on? What What happened to the first What's going one? on? Yeah. It's a different movie. I don't know what's going to go on. Oh, okay. There's no carryover, you don't think? I have no idea. Why would I know that? I don't know. Well, what was the concept of uh, Final Destination 1? Premonitions. He was just having... It really should have been called Premonition, but okay. there's already a movie called that, I think. Did you know that Final Destin Destination 1's script was actually meant to be an X-Files episode? Didn't know it. Yeah. Could you imagine Mulder and Scully running around with a no. Final Destination thing happening? I don't think so. No? Mm, no. All right. Well, should we see how deaths happen in Final Destination 2? Can't wait to see more premonitions. Let's jump right into it. Let's do it. But first, a like, comment, subscribe. That's my new thing. Great. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full link commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. Also, if you're into social media, you can check us out on Twitter and Instagram, at you, me, the movies. On both of them. Yeah, yeah behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, or if you don't like social media, just ignore that. Exactly. Let's watch Final Destination 2. But it was the events after the crash that has turned this tragic story into something even stranger. The survivors who managed to get off the plane before it crashed died soon thereafter in a series of mysterious... And All of them? Guess they couldn't dodge death forever, huh? Mm -hmm. chance to set the record straight. So. Great. Okay, well... Ew. Because in the end, no one can escape death. And today may be your day to die. I mean, I agree with that. Nobody escapes death. But, I don't know. I won't get into the religious thing, it's fine. <laughs> Road flares, sunblock, mace. Condoms, whips, chains. It's in my other bag. <laughs> Can we go get the guys? I'm getting horny. <laughs> what kind of girl says that in front of Her their friend's, friend's dad? dad? Whips and chains, that's, that's nice. Whatever, your dad's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Buckle up! I mean, it's literally every parent's nightmare any time their child leaves the house. Right? You're, like, you're just praying that nothing happens to them. That's why I hate these movies. Because something happens to the kids every friggin' time. Worst nightmare ever. Oh my God. <laughs> you're not getting any of my weed, man. Nothing. Whatever. What are we going to do in Daytona? Do you remember in the early 2000s where people dressed like this? Yeah. You still do. Oh. That's an odd thing to be shouting on a freeway. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll look out. Okay, I mean it. Take care of it, okay? <laughs> Welcome on back to You, Me, and the Boobies. Oh, this is that one. Kimberly, the car is gonna be fine. Your dad's gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, okay? Kiss of death. I'll be right back. Oh no, I'm not a pregnant lady. Why do we always gotta get babies involved here? Look at that guy. He's drinking his beer. It's root beer. It's just a bottle of Henry's root beer, right? You're just now buckling up? <laughs> God, please pull off the road. <laughs> oh, jeez. Coffee makes me nervous. No, it's not even in a cup holder. It's just sitting there. Just sitting there? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, good life choices. What? Am my seatbelt? You know, bust me, bitch. <laughs> friend coming through the sunroof. Mm -hmm. And this is why you don't drive with a full gas tank. I just filled my tank this morning. <laughs> Jesus. I'd like you to please step out of the vehicle. Like this. I'm gonna get this and we're gonna go. Go where? <laughs> That's trying to recorrect this uh, pretty quickly now, huh? No kidding. It's not f***ing around. Uh, would you mind telling me what happened? He's one that was supposed to die too, so... He died first. Mm-hmm. Look, I know this sounds crazy, but... You guys all heard about Flight 180, right? Why don't they just use the word premonition? Like, that is the perfect word to explain what everybody... What, he, what she's feeling. My premonition was just oh, like okay. There we go. Thank you. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got too excited. Plane blowing up, so he got all his buddies off the plane, and then the thing blew up just like in his dream. Not a dream, a premonition. There was one survivor. There was? Clear Rivers is in a padded room at the Stony Brook Institution. Oh. Like, what if we're all getting that different strokes curse or something? The f it's a different strokes curse. Different. Strokes for different folks, I guess. Like the television show, Different Strokes? <laughs> I don't know. Did the whole cast die or something? Different Strokes curse? Does anyone know what this is about? Jesus Christ! Shit! This is the guy that won the lottery. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't afford new food. What is he making? Fish sticks? Mozzarella sticks. Oh. I'm gonna put a magnet in the microwave. Say congratulations, so give me a call. Five 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 zero one two three. Bye. A little faster. Oh god, his hand stuck as the watch. Does he have to chop his hand off?
break that window. How's he gonna die now? Again, these are like skits that go on just too long, right? Like, <laughs> just kill him already. Oh my goodness. How did Alex die? Falling brick. <laughs> He's got a Google premonition. <laughs> I guess there wasn't Google back then. He's got a... Ask like, Jeeves. Lycos. <laughs> Somehow the ladder on the fire escape slipped and impaled him. Investigators believe Lewis died instantly. At least he went quick when it finally happened. Yeah, he didn't burn alive in his apartment. I guess that's better. Because yeah, he burned alive in the original death. <laughs> more painful that way, huh? We need to take this to get some sleep. Were these filmed in Canada? This one probably was. She's Canadian. I mean, who has a creepy freaking clown like that in their bedroom? <laughs> what teenage girl? Maybe she always wanted to join the circus. Oh yeah, that's terrifying. Okay, great. Yep, yep, yep. Yippers. Creepy. Stony Brook Institution. It sounds familiar, like it was a crazy house in... <laughs> kind of sounds like the Halloween one, but... No, yeah. So. yeah. Buckles, earrings, hair clips, glasses, shoelaces, paper clips, watches, money clip. Uh, must be naked. Must be. <laughs> Just give her some scrubs to wear in. Is she dangerous or something? No, honey, she expects you are. It's a fair assumption. She's supposed to be dead. Not worried about paper cuts, apparently. The survivors of Flight 180 died in the exact order they were originally meant to die in the plane crash. That was Death's original design. I was supposed to die in that crash with my friends, so you're telling me that I'm next? You said that someone else died last night. Yeah, but it wasn't the first one that was supposed to die. Don't worry. Once the others are dead, it'll come back for you. It always does. No, well, she wasn't the first to die, though. I agree, it doesn't make sense. But my friends died last in my premonition, not first. Right. Died last. Plot twist. Have you ever seen anything creepy or ominous? An in-your-face irony kind of thing? Stick fingers on your shadows? Surprised she allows electrical current in that room. Hmm. So then he'll be second to last to go. She'll be the last to go. The cop was the very first one that died. Yeah. So. The last year when I was dispatched to clean up one of the Flight 180 survivors. Clean up? I, I don't... Jesus. Pigeons. Pigeons? It's a sign. A sign of what? Death it by pigeon? <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Those pigeons scared me. <laughs> Give me goosebumps. You and your fear of birds. <laughs> no. no fear of birds. <laughs> Till now, apparently. If he gives me the gas and I wake up with my pants unbuttoned, we ain't paying. <laughs> that you're okay. 
Your mom says you've been having some pain lately. Great. Pretty sure this is the scene that inspired Finding Nemo. <laughs> Damn, pigeons. How many times am I gonna have to replace those goddamn windows? How many times are you gonna stab a kid with a prod? Because you pigeon flies in the window right as you're in their mouth. <laughs> How did they expect me to Would you rather just have a laughing ass? Not the water again. Have you ever had that the clamps used on you at the dentist to keep your mouth open? Yeah, I think so. You still have hands, dude. Jane, how's Tim doing in there? Almost died, but he's fine. About to become a lawsuit. Oh, God. That was one hell of a visual. <laughs> so did the mom get skipped? Or is she next? How... Can the pigeon break through it, but it just squashes a human being? That's the weight of it. Oof. That one made me feel yucky. This is really happening again, isn't it? For sure. <laughs> We're all gonna die, aren't we? Yeah. Everyone does, though. I mean, everybody's dying. Except Poke Pillar. What? Except Pugapillar. Oh, you were saying, you were putting an extra syllable in there. Oh, okay. Pugapapillar is what you were saying. It's really weird. I'm not sure what the point of these movies are. If they all die anyways. So they're just like fighting back death, but they all die anyways. So the movie's pretty pointless. Uh -huh. It's like an adventure to see who can die last. I don't know, whatever. Just like life. Touche, I suppose. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Just like life. <laughs> yeah. Creepy, um, uh, creepy mortician. We're going back to see the creepy mortician. Hello, Claire. Are we thinking he is death? Dead. Yet still. Just you don't need to die. take it out. Don't you think? It's fine. Ugh. His body would just burn that would fall out later. Why would you rip it out of him? Ugh. Just be glad he didn't have his uh, Prince Albert. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> the only thing that has to be taken out is a pacemaker because it will explode inside. Ugh. I hurt my nipples just thinking about it. Need me to do anything about that? No. <laughs> but the introduction of life that was not meant to be, that can invalidate the list. Force death to start anew. How do you know my name? <laughs> I don't get him. Just you wait. New life to feed stuff. The, the pregnant lady? Is he talking about the pregnant lady? What did you say? She said, get the f out of there. We have to find her. We have to warn her about the lake so she can stay alive long enough to have the baby. That'll be an easy conversation to have. <laughs> In the porno version of this, they just start having sex and trying to get knocked up. Hmm. We should pick them up pretty quickly. Come on, let's get to the Great meeting. Great picture. <laughs> Was that like a mugshot? I don't or know. DMV photo for either, her license. Either way, real rough. Hey, let go of my shoe! Get him on, sir! 
I thought that was it. I'm like, oh, there it goes. His body's gonna be ripped off from his leg. Still there, bro. Yeah, I can get it for you. Oh, yeah. ew, ew, don't do that. He's good. Just let I'll let me do it. What? <laughs> Is he f***ing with him? You're not next, Nora. Nobody has to be next. That's the point. Mm hmm. Look, I gotta call bull. I mean, I sat here and listened to all your theories. You don't have to be here, dude. She's seen that coming. <laughs> we need to look out for each other from now on. Sleep in shifts. We need to save proof this death trap. I'm just gonna camp out in his apartment. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this in the closet. Death trap. The death trap closet. Perfect. Just throw and go. Totally normal. Man with hooks. Oh no. A sign? Oh my god. Did you guys see that? He's right. The stoner. He's Avoid helping. man with hooks. Avoid a man with hooks. Yeah, real creepy. <laughs> All right. What, is it? what? A man with hooks is gonna kill you. What? What? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Pop goes the weasel. Calm down. Right, what happened? Where's Nora? Back up, back up. Oh, 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 you just, what's wrong, man? Just tell us what happened. Our head's in the elevator. Give me the gun. Give me the gun, Eugene. No, 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 no Eugene, don't do it. Don't do it. You control your fate. Ah. He just had it in his belt for decoration. You don't keep it loaded? Oh. Possible. It wasn't his turn to die. Can you find the pregnant woman now, please? <laughs> this movie's f up. Right? Man, well, deaths are a little more intense than this one, huh? When I get out of here, I am going to sue him. Yay, a baby! It's coming. I need the car! Sheriff Perry, I need the car! My van! My van! Take my, take my van! Oh no. Last year, my partner and I were heading out when a call came in about a train wreck. Frank decided to let me handle it alone. He died that night in a shootout. If that call had come in just ten seconds later, I'd be dead too. Or he'd both be alive because he had backup. So they all cheated death already. The, the, the bus I was on splattered some girl all over the road. Was that not Abraham? by this falling sign. Carter. Wait, wait, wait. The teacher I replaced. Her name was Val Luton. She was from Mount Abram. She died in an explosion. They all were connected. It's like decapitation. 
it affected everyone and everything we've come into contact with since. So you all must kill each other? They all gotta kill themselves? An outward ripple. A rift in death's design. It's already... The ripple keeps going, though. But wouldn't there be other ripples attached to these not dying? Just in the way that... Yeah. So that's why there's, like, six of these then, huh? Did it miss her? Yes, it must have because it was trying to kill the pregnant lady. Oh no. Call an ambulance! Hey, we got a straw. Nuns dripping. Okay, all right, get this thing off me. Just pull, hurry. Okay, be careful. Ready? Just pull it out. Just pull it back down. I gotta use my legs when I'm done. I'm so Dad! <laughs> why? Why is this van just not paying attention to the people standing in the middle of the freaking place? Oh god! Freaking dum dums. Like, why does everything have to be, like, mousetrap? Because that's how death works. No! <laughs> it's not like mousetrap. And if I die, um... She throw all my drugs and my paraphernalia and my porno. Internet search history. She don't know where you live. His address is on his driver's license, probably. No, oh, yeah. Isabella's at Lakeview Hospital. They're prepping her for delivery. We gotta go now. Lakeview? Just find Isabella and get this thing over with, okay? Don't be smoking right now. Could you be a little quieter with that thing, please? Yeah, sure. I'll just put it on quiet mode. That would be good. Oh, jeez. Should have deactivated the airbag. No one thought to, like, chop that pipe off. That was... Boy. <laughs> we have to get to the hospital now. So take my truck. The keys are in it. He just. Kimberly. Well, what do you see? What are we looking for? Yeah. It's, it's not here. Why isn't the cop driving? Right? <laughs> Dr. Clarkson, code blue, delivery room six. Is she having premonitions of the ba the baby? Like, the baby's premonitions? The baby drowning in lake, lake view, choking, cord around the neck. I need to know if the baby's alright. Right. Right. <laughs> it's a boy. A biggest baby boy ever. <laughs> That's why I was taking so much to get out. <laughs> She delivered a 14 pound baby. Yeah. Hardest pet up of those movies is them putting that baby in her for the <laughs> scene. <laughs> Did they break it? Seems like it. Claire, I can't find Eugene. No, 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 don't worry. She had the baby. It's okay. It's over. It's okay. Claire can still die, though, yeah? Oh, it wasn't her that escaped death. Eugene. Only new life defeats death. What is, what is that supposed to mean? Lake. 
the white van. I know what I have to do to save us. Kill herself by drowning? Yeah, Amblin smells like. Strawberry, vanilla, pine, and new car smell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate the strawberry and vanilla together and you get like a, a strawberry vanilla smell, you know? It's not bad. Belly flop. <laughs> Would have been funny if he's like, oh, shit, swim! <laughs> Only new life can defeat death. Ready and clear. Nothing. So she is the new life because she dies, but then is brought back to life. Hey, we did it. Thanks to you, we You're changed. the only two left. <laughs> Poor Claire. She tried for so long yeah. to avoid she all She just stopped thinking about herself there and just blew up. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll stick to our beer. Thanks. All right. Oh, he cheated death too. That kid did. What's that? Well, Brian was almost hit by that news van that day in the field. And your friend Rory, he um he pulled him back at the last second. See. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> These movies. All right. Oh my god. Final Destination 2. You can't cheat death twice. Except for if you die and then you're brought back to life and then you save your yeah. cop boyfriend. So do you think they're still on the list or are they safe? That kid was just a loose end because Rory saved him. Yeah, I mean, that could be. But they were all connected to the Flight 180, right? Mm hmm. Somehow. If Flight 180 had blown up with everybody on board, they would have died. A year ago. Right. Yeah. Stopped by the ripple, right? Mm-hmm. But I still think their lack of death the first time created, it had to have created another ripple effect. I mean, that's how ripples work. They yeah. just keep going and going the, and going. The butterfly effect, as they call it. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay. I mean, whatever they call it, I feel like it's already set in motion potential for more do you think that's what maybe final destination three builds on be my best guess at this point whole they were connected to the people that survived or died in this one yeah exactly just like that kid yeah right, he was a ripple effect why was the kid barbecuing to begin with this should be the dad's job Jeez. i mean good for the kid for taking some responsibility feeding his family yeah. his mom's never gonna be the same though yeah they'll never eat barbecue ever again yeah. you asked what the point of these movies are yeah, you made a good point, though. I mean, that's, that's what's the point of life? Like, <laughs> it's also you asked the same thing about Friday the Thirteenth, and it's about the unique death scenes, right? Yeah, Friday the Thirteenth really doesn't have a point, though. No, it doesn't. You just keep bringing Jason back. Oh, okay, well, I like that. But, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, overall, it's a movie just on how to creatively kill people as yeah. fun as they can, make it look as fun and terrifying as they can. Mm -hmm. They're nailing it. Yeah, Mousetrap for Adults, the movie. Yeah, that's so annoying to me. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite death? Well, let's not say favorite because I don't feel like that's an appropriate thing. <laughs> what was the death scene that affected you the most? <laughs> I think the kid getting squished by, by the glass the pane. Glass. Oh, that yeah, was brutal. Got smushed. I'm surprised they had enough to put in the body bag. Yeah. yeah. It was just one of those like, yeah. type of kills. There's definitely more gore in this one than For the sure. first one. Mm -hmm. All right. Rory's was pretty interesting, too. The barbed wire. Sliced in pieces by barbed wire. Yeah, it was unique. Yeah. I think that's my favorite. Yeah. Because that took two people out in the span of, like, ten seconds. Yeah. With the airbag and then the, the blow explosion up. Yeah. Right? All the death scenes, I think, in this one were probably better 
Final Destination 1. Probably. Except for maybe the... More unique, anyways. Decapitation. That one was pretty... It, so, the where he was decapitated was yeah, very... is what made it cool. Yeah. Right. Right at the jaw. Well, what should people comment on after Final Destination 2? Favorite kill. Well, I thought we weren't saying that. I mean... You made me do it. What's the oh. death that affected you the most in Final <laughs> Destination 2? <laughs> Not favorite. And where does Final Destination 2 rank compared to the first, the original? Do you like this one better or maybe the first one better? Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. That's Anything right. else? Like, comment, subscribe. That's our new thing. That's my new thing. I'm, I'm going to lean right into it. <laughs> Check out our Patreon link down below. For early access to your videos, full length commentaries, your access to polls, help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time. Have a good one. Bye.